everybody, and welcome to Mother Cow Crochet. I'm Christina, and I'm coming to you from a chilly west coast of Sweden. Today it's sunny, it's chilly, it's windy, um, so had to take on a hat this morning, or now in the afternoon too, because it's just a couple of degrees above uh, zero for us here. Uh, took my crocheted uh, cotton hats, but that was too chilly, so need a thicker one. Uh, don't think I have one for myself. The kids have a lot of hats, <laughs> so perhaps I'm just borrowing some of some of them. Uh, today I've had the big girl home because she's feeling sick. Uh, some cold, some fever, so haven't done anything on the sweater. I just sent them upstairs, all the kids, so I can do this, because uh, it's a secret. <laughs> uh, here it is, my deep blue sea. Da -da -da. So did... Um, this dark one and the bright one and started on I did a half a black more so i i actually think that i'm finished i'm just casting off so really really pleased with this one and it took it's monday today i said i'm going to do one stripe a day in on Saturday didn't I so uh, two days three days <laughs> and it's finished I really do like this one and I think I measured I went up uh, in her bedroom when she was asleep last night and I took one of her uh, sweaters laid it flat on the table and measured on that one and I know that one is uh, it's a short sweater, so it's, um, uh, I think it's on, on the hip, just, just on the hip. And uh, took it and measured it on to this one. And this one is much, much longer. So I think I'm finished. I'm so happy. <laughs> and um haven't done anything on Graham's hair. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't feel like it, actually. So, doing some hair on him. And then I had an urge for <laughs> socks uh, for some days now. And um, then I saw... Okay, let's start. I had an urge for socks, but I saw another tutorial, another pattern uh, for a sweater uh, that I thought I might do for the youngest girl. Uh, and she don't like wool. She thinks it's itchy. She's the only one in the family that thinks it's itchy. Uh, but I found a Mayflower, Danish company Mayflower. Um, Mm, I think it's called Muffin, if I'm remembering correct. I think it's Muffin, and it's in lovely colors. It's yellow, it's orange, it's purple, and it's uh, some perhaps a little bit pink in it too. Uh, and it's in 20% uh, wool, so and the rest is acrylic, so it's super soft. So, I think, I thought that I would start that one. Did it this morning. And when I crocheted uh, four or five rows this long, I was thinking the whole time that <laughs> the yarn has <laughs> become more itchy. <laughs> and I didn't think more about it. But after a while, I saw that the colors were totally off. <laughs> it wasn't the right yarn. I took another one, and in that one it's 70% wool. 
it's itchy. <laughs> Uh, not for me, but for the little girl. So I had to frog it, um, but really liked the colors, so wanted to use that yarn <laughs> at once. Uh, and I did, and I made a sock. So I have some rows left, just started the ribbing. So I have some rows left on that one. <clears throat> uh, and this is um, made in the size for the 10 year old. So, if it doesn't get sold on the Christmas fair, she's getting them, or she's decided that she's having them. <laughs> so, uh, some more rows on the ribbing, perhaps three, four rows, perhaps. And um, then a new sock. I think, actually, actually, I solved my size problem, or the heel problem. Uh, so, I get it. The right size for the different feet that I'm doing it in. And I'm doing, first I, uh, this size, I started with uh, two single crochets, no, two chain, chains, and then six um, single crochets in the first. And then I uh, increase. <laughs> uh, um, six every row so the first row it's two in each and then it's one single crochet and two in the next uh, and then I got uh, six twelve eighteen twenty four and thirty so I did this last uh, increase I did in the fourth um, uh, stitch so that's 30 stitches in the first circle. And then I just go around, 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 around. Got my stitch marker, moved it as I went. And uh, then I uh, <laughs> did some counting. I got 30 stitches around and I'm using half of them for my heel. That's 15. And the start of the heel is 15 divided by three. And then I start with five. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm doing it this way, but it works. So uh, if I had 36, the one size up or some sizes up it is, then I would have uh, 18, uh, the half for the heel, <clears throat> and divided by three, it's six. Then I start with six single crochets, but this one is five single crochets. So I did five, one row, and then I just turn and uh, not uh, one chain to go up a level, but just uh, crocheted in the first immediately. And then I go five and one more. And then I turn and then I do six and one more. Always going down uh, to the uh, foot part and doing the stitches when I do one more and then turn seven on the other way and one more all the way up to 15 and the 15th I turned and did 15 the other way and then I just turned and then I got the the right uh, round again so I had so it wasn't uh, crocheting um, wrong the wrong way <laughs> um, and then I just keep on doing it round and round and round as long as I want it and um, then I do double crochets and in the next round I do front post and back post haven't got that much yarn left but um, Placed an order with my fiancé and he's going to get milk, bananas, apples and yarn. Because <laughs> the five-year-old wanted this, uh, this uh, yarn for a hat. Really gorgeous woolly hats. And that's strange because she, she likes her woolly hats. <laughs> I just think she's um, imagining <laughs> the itchiness. <laughs> <laughs> have to train her to like wool 
her too. Uh, my next thing after, I don't know if the big girl just opened the door to the stairs, but the, the next sweater I'm doing um, or finishing is. Let's see. This one. <clears throat> Sorry about that one. This one. It's uh, Neon City Lights. And uh, I've, I've knitted this one. And then I've started to crochet. And I've got some arms here too. <laughs> and here is the start of the arms. So, just doing some more rows on the arms. And um, then I'm crocheting everything together and uh, not doing a raglan, but uh, almost. Haven't really decided yet if I'm going to do it from the top or and down or just from the sweater from this side and up. Haven't really designed it one yet. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And then I got this super uh, fun idea. The next sweater I'm doing. I'm going to do uh, the sweater with a very big boat neckline. And then I'm doing some, you can call it straps over the shoulders so the, the shoulders will be uh, bare and just um, some straps over here and the arms starting here i think that would be quite happy, fun to do have to think more about that one before i do it but that's uh, my plans so uh, casting off doing one more sock, uh, starting to finish <laughs> this sweater and uh, hair for Graham. And uh, if I can find the, the yarn that I was supposed to use, the Mayflower yarn, uh, then I'm starting um, a new sweater for the five-year-old. And she's getting that one for Christmas, I think. So, um, that's what I'm doing. Now I'm waiting for an order to come my way. Uh, ordered last week. The woolly yarn. And yesterday I saw this beautiful yarn. It's called Holiday. It was red, white and green. Um, variegated. And... There was a metallic thread in it too, so it was glittery, it was shiny. It was 72 or 3% wool. And it's, um, let's see, about $4, uh, some more perhaps. Didn't think that was too bad so I'm so wanting to <laughs> to order that too so my plan is to get the family to buy that for my birthday because my birthday month is next month so I want some for a couple of socks and I would love to do a cardigan in those colors it was so pretty it was so super pretty um, I'm going to show you uh, in the end of the video. It was so nice. <laughs> Want that one. Uh, otherwise, I, it's not that much. <laughs> I think it's enough the one things that I'm doing. So um, probably um, just perhaps a quickie in a day or two. And then uh, I'm filming again on Friday. 
because this week is a busy week. So uh, if I don't see you until Friday, have a super week and uh, see ya. Love you all. Thank you.